showing you all the cool cities in Ukraine, but Mykolaiv is really cool. So today I am in Mykolaiv, Ukraine, and I'm really excited to show you guys like just a sampling of what this city has to offer. When I came here for the first time, it was just for one night and I had zero expectations. And I ended up liking the vibe so much that like I had to come back. It's really green, the buildings are interesting, it's got an interesting history, the people are really nice. So I'm really excited to show you, like I said, just a sampling, just a tasting, because I didn't have very much time here myself, unfortunately. But why I think Mykolaiv is a really underrated destination in Ukraine. one to normally recommend visiting statues or monuments, but Mykolaiv actually has a very, very cool monument behind me. It is the Monument to the Shipbuilders, and it was put up in 1898 to celebrate 200 years of shipbuilding in Mykolaiv. Each of the people like on the statue represents a different trade that's important in the building, maintaining, and sailing of ships. Since the shipbuilding industry has been so important to Mykolaiv throughout its history, I think it's actually a very cool statue to come and check out. Something that I really like about Mykolaiv is they've actually pedestrianized one of these main streets. And so like, you can just stroll down it really peacefully. There are these like beautiful, gigantic trees. I don't know the kinds of trees, I don't know what they are. There's like cafes and shopping and some restaurants around here. So it's really pleasant and it goes down to the river. Mykolaiv was founded in 1789 under the leadership of Gregory Potemkin. Yes, that Potemkin. So back when it was part of the Russian Empire's territory. It was started to be a shipbuilding hub, and you can learn more about its shipbuilding history here at the Museum of Shipbuilding. The museum actually starts in Greek times because they have found some Greek artifacts in the region. And while you will get more out of the museum if you understand Ukrainian or Russian, there are sort of little summary uh, cards in English for each room so you can still get a general feel. There are also some pretty cool models so like even if you're not really into shipbuilding and like naval history which I'm not 100% this is still really interesting and I think it kind of gives another perspective of Ukraine's history. So I came 
down to one one part of the river front because like McGlive is like surrounded by the river, which is part of the reason why it's such a good place for shipbuilding. But what that's not what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about right now is like this would never be allowed in the States. There's just like there's no barrier between the walkway and just falling like two meters into the water. Maybe not two meters. I'm American, I'm not good with meters. I just think it's funny. I don't know if Ukrainians have more common sense than Americans do or what. Maybe they're just a little bit chancier. So if you're just coming to Ukraine for like a week or two, Nikolaev might not make it onto your itinerary. But if you live in Ukraine or if you're here for like an extended period of time, I definitely recommend you coming and spending a few days here, like at least a weekend, at least two nights and get one full day. It's an interesting city and I think it adds like an interesting perspective to Ukraine because it's clearly like very well connected to its history, to its past, but you can also see some forward thinking here in city planning, in the businesses. We really enjoyed our time here. Um, I have a feeling like I'll probably come back at some point, so I hope you also get a chance to visit it someday. Gotta wait till the party boat goes by, I think. I kinda wish I was on it.